Hello everyone, welcome to Trains on Tuesday. It's January the 16th, 2018. January the 16th marks 52 weeks since I started the Trains on Tuesday, um, formerly Coffee Break Tuesday, series of videos on my layout. So one year. So today we're going to do something a little whimsical. Um, we can start with uh, my brand new engine that I got for Christmas here, the Dash 8. She's going to do her first revenue run. She's got uh, a long rake of grain cars there. She's going to pull off to the, uh, to the yards. It'll take a few loops around the track to get there. But anyway, that's where we're going to start today. And uh, also I have something else, as I say, a little whimsical. So, Let's get this thing on the road. Here she is pulling past the uh, the little prairie town of Maury, Saskatchewan. Making her, own, her way on down to the town of Michelle. She'll be making a stop at Michelle station there for uh, for a crew change before heading out onto the main line. Okay, so there she sits, the Dash 8 by Rapido Trains, sitting at Michelle Station, having just changed the crew. And Away she goes. That was a bit of a jerky start, but anyway. She's heading now onto the main lines. Now when I set out to do Coffee Break Tuesday and uh, Trains on Tuesday I decided I was going to have a cup of coffee every video. And I also decided I was going to have a different cup every video. Until I ran out of cups. And I wasn't going to tell anybody about it. See whether you noticed or not. A few of you did, and a few of you have even added to my coffee cups along the way. So the whimsical part of this video is going to be the coffee cups of Trains on Tuesday. We're going to have a look at all the cups I've used. So back on the 24th of January 2017, we started off with keep calm and drink coffee we then moved on to one of my favorite mugs that one actually came from Ryan's mother Ryan and Ryan's mother one Christmas on then to a little 440 I call that one the uh, Vancouver Canada loco number 300 the next week it was Valentine's Day, so I borrowed my daughter's Starbucks cup with a heart on it and an arrow through it. An arrow that to me looks somewhat similar to uh, British Rail's arrow logo. Following on from there, we had the Josephine, another 440, and that cup is from what was known as the Centennial Series. Moving on down, my British Railways mug, 
The Royal Hudson, 1939. Samson, from the Centennial series again. Then we have Didsbury Station in Alberta. Not sure where I got that mug from. It was probably a freebie at a, at a, a garage sale or something. Another 440 there. Um, six coaches on that one. Lovely mug. Back to the Ottawa uh, in the Centennial Series. I'm not sure how many of those Centennial Series ones I have. Then we went to I Love Steam Trains. By the way, if there's any spaces in between these cups, that's where I managed to do a video without a cup of coffee. And there's quite a few, particularly towards the end. Uh, the Royal Hudson, Squamish, BC. Didn't, uh, didn't tell you too much about the Royal Hudson there. The Royal Hudson 1939 there, um, the first Hudson one we saw. In 1939, just prior to World War II, um, the King and Queen toured Canada and they were so impressed with the locomotives that uh, uh, CPR used to haul the train that they gave them the Royal designation. Uh, so CPR had Hudsons and they had Royal Hudsons, uh, one particular subclass. Okay, moving on, uh, one of my favorites again use this one quite often my riddles 2109 9 f evening star the last loco built built for british rails sperry rail service uh is the next one now that one um that may have come from oops excuse me uh that may have come from a friend of mine chris andrade um he worked for sperry for a while I can't remember for sure where I got it. Anyway, the Sperry Rail Service uh, Company has these rail cars that are equipped with x-ray equipment and all that sort of stuff. And they run over the rails x-raying it, looking for cracks and other defects in the rail. Uh, very nice mug. Uh, On to one of my... Better mugs. This one came from the Seven Valley Railway, and the loco is six nine six zero Ravingham Hall, uh, modified hall. Now we have a space, so there was no no coffee cup shown in the in the video that time, and on to the BC Provincial Museum train of 1976. Uh, during that year the British Columbia government sent a train touring around the province. Um, museum all set up inside the cars. Unfortunately I didn't get to see it at that time. Now that mug is one that normally is kept on a display shelf and it still has the original sticker on it. I did have a cup of coffee out of it and I was very careful not to get that sticker wet uh, when I washed it and, and uh, used it. Another one that had never been used until Coffee Break Tuesday, um, I think that was on the 30th of May I used this one. This is my Via LRC. LRC stood for Light, Rapid, Comfortable, and it was Canada's effort at making uh, a HST. They were lightweight uh, locomotives. They were capable of 110. I did get to ride some of them between Montreal and Toronto, and uh, they certainly were nice. The coaches are still in service, but the locomotives were lightly built, and they didn't stand up. This cup I got in 1986 and until that trains on tuesday episode i had never had a drink from it moving on uh royal scott there she sits that one came from bressingham norfolk back to that one now you might think oh i've seen that one before but in actual fact i've got two of those so i use that one 
and then moved on to my CN. This is property of Canadian National Railways. Hmm. Well, I got it at a at a craft sale, antique place. Um, twenty-one forty-one. Now that's going to be hard to see in this light, but anyway, ah, there we, there we go. Twenty-one forty-one. Spirit of Kamloops. Now the next week. In fact, for the next two weeks, I planned on using the last of my Centennial mugs. But I got two videos out without. But the mug, there it is, the Royal Train of 1939, so there's the Hudson again. That's the one that should have been in there, but you guys never got to see that one. Moving on down, Kettle Valley Railway, Midway, B.C., now, I'm not sure about the Kettle Valley Railway and Midway BC. The Kettle Valley Railway, um, the real railway, ceased to exist. I'm not sure when, 1980s maybe? Uh, it did run through Midway, so that's kind of a unique mug. On then to... What I call multi-railway logos. There are various railway logos all over that one. That was good. And then we got to my 100 subscriber, 20,000 view uh, shout-out video. And for that, I had a beer, and I had that in my Stein. As you can see here, I've got the conductor hanging on the side here. A nice little 440 again, and coaches running up into the trees. And a nice lid with a little loco on. And this one was made for me by my sister-in-law back in 1987. Thank you. Next one was an absolute plain Jane mug. These are my regular everyday coffee mugs. I have about three of them. And somehow that one got into a Trains on Tuesday. Um, nothing to do with railways at all on that one. Moving on down, CN. That's the Canadian National logo. But on the other side it says Canadian Northern. Then we have another little space in between, and then we got to the David and Steve show. That was one of my f favorite videos, doing that with Steve, my cousin. So, me being a Canadian, I have the David mug there with the transcontinental train on it, and Steve being British, he's got himself a London and Southwestern 440. Now, I don't know anything about that engine. If anybody can tell me anything about And next, my Regional Railways uh, mug. I guess that goes back to 1980s. Um, then there's a space, so there was no mug in the next video. And then on to the lead, lead off a little steam mug. Now this mug I saw while we were in Summerland BC, uh, Steve and I, along with Ryan, we went there for the uh, Kettle Valley Railway there, and we rode that, and Cousin Steve bought me this mug, so we had that one. The videos that I did from there are yet to be processed, but that'll all be coming up before too long. And moving on, I was in England when, actually when this video came out with this mug, I was in England and then for a couple of weeks there were no videos at all and then the next one no mug and so we move on to week 39 and an absolute surprise and a beautiful beautiful present. I went to Wigan for the uh, for the Wigan um, model railway exhibition up there 
I met up with Dave from Dave's Trains and as I left Dave handed me a little package and he said I want you to have this and inside was this beautiful mug the Cheshire Lines Railway and a map showing all the lines through the county of Cheshire absolutely beautiful so pleased with that one the next week I didn't even have a mug and then we moved on to the ghost train then we went without a mug for another three weeks and being almost out of railway mugs at that time I went on to my Maxwell House mug and then my Nabob coffee mug this one ended up actually there and somewhere else further down as we got into Christmas I had my Christmas mugs out and there we have my teddy bear mug then no mug and then for Boxing Day my Christmas Day video when this loco was shown for the first time I had the Santa one back to Nabob and just last week Kamloops Heritage Railway a new mug just got that at Christmas time so there we go oh by the way how was that for a Christmas present my bicycle has hauled all kinds of things including a Christmas tree uh, that has happened in the past <laughs> got a t-shirt with the bicycle and the Christmas tree on really good so the mugs the trains on Tuesday starting out with keep calm and drink coffee and we'll finish it off with keep calm and drink tea cheers everyone we begin year two of trains on Tuesday next week see you then bye